When we had last left, Team Bald, they were back inside of Trade Me trying to sort out more of the town's troubling issues. This time, they were on the case of the Genie Trade Blockade that had appeared in town. Indeed, it was Genies and Jin that were behind all sorts of uh, marketplace shutdowns. People weren't able to buy and sell in the town called Trade Meat that was known for it because genies were doing it instead. And so they talked to the genies and they were there looking for someone to kill some sort of demon that genies didn't like, uh, a Rakshasa, in fact. And they agreed to go help find the Rakshasa and kill it in order to appease the genies and get them to leave, because for whatever reason, they were here and they just had to trade. <laughs> Why was it that genies showed up and had to trade? Why couldn't they just show up and look for the dude? Nobody really said <laughs> why, uh, but that's, that's just the nature of genies. They got to trade, you know, genies. They're most known for, for one thing, the one thing that genies are known for, that jinn are known for trading <laughs> having really good deals <laughs> but uh they went and did that the rakshasa turned out to be the old lady living in the swamp inside her little weird shack uh obliterated her got the head it was like a weird lion head brought it back to the gin and they were pleased as hell and they left and everything was good and there was a great celebration with a cool bunch of statues erected as well in the honor of Team Bald's exploits. But the troubles weren't over just yet. Indeed, uh, troubles were still afoot in Trade Meat. This time, two of the oldest families of the city that were... They were old families and they were rich families and they were all assholes, it seemed, in varying degrees. And they were feuding and wanted to get Team Bald involved in some fashion or another. Would Team Bald be able to withstand their horrid ways or would they succumb and pick a side for one of them uh this is Baldur's Gate 2 enhanced edition welcome back <laughs> let's unhide all of that there we go let's see. let's head on over here so we need to touch oh. me speak and be done with it uh, I suppose this had to happen. Now things have been now that things have been restored to normal, the feud begins once again. Those two families have been nothing but problems in this town. I'm surprised Lord Logan doesn't order their death. They certainly are asking for it if scenes like this continue. Well, you can just order their death if you're the merchant god or the merchant king or whatever his title was if they're just annoying if they're too annoying you can order their death not even like exile them from the town or whatever right just order them killed attention everyone there will be no further brawling in this area or any involved will be arrested you know you all know how the laroxels and alabacars can be yes do not get involved, I warn you. Lord Logan will be informed of this incident immediately. Calm down and return to your business at once. Huh. Should we go talk to Lord what? Logan about this? I don't think so. Let's see. There we are. The dueling families of trade meat. I, they really missed an opportunity to call this the family feud. <laughs> right. During the reward ceremony held for me by Lord Logan, both Lady Lilith Laroxel and Lord Scaramane Alabacar approached me separately, offering me employment and warning me against the other. If I am interested, I should go and see one of them at their estate. Lord Logan warned me afterwards of their feuding, saying I should steer clear of them for my own good. Okay. Get on with it! I guess we can stop by Lord Logan's. Right at the mayor's house. Who should we go see first? Oh, uh, they're on opposite ends. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's go see. Let's go see the mayor's place first. Huh? Pardon me. Very well. 
Okay, I'm a little bit, you must a little bit gather sniffly, your party before right? ever so forth. slightly. Just as I would have thought. Logan, do you have anything to say about this madness? Greetings again, Lila Schnub. Lady Lilith and Lord Skermain are not annoying you over much, I hope. Again, I urge you to be cautious. Over much. I've never seen such a Greetings phrasing. Once again. What? This will be okay. simple. Let us head on you out. I guess we'll talk to venturing forth. Lord Alabacar no first, because we just so happen to be closer. Like I said, maybe it'll be a fake out. Right? Maybe it'll be a fake out wherein one seems way more aggro to us than the other, but they're actually all right. I don't know. It seems like both are, are shitty, though. <laughs> if we're being if we're being honest with ourselves, it seems like both are kind of like massively shitty. Okay. Here all we are. right then. Hello, Lord Scarmaine Alabacar. Honestly, I was expecting your house to be a lot bigger than this. Do not touch me. Speak and be done with it. Hello once again, Lila Schnub. It is pleasing to see that you did not respond to the call of that harlot, Lady Lilith. The woman is too deluded to see the truth, as I said. A commoner that has risen above her station. Our two houses have been feuding for generations. The Laroxoles seem to be possessed of the notion that their family founded this town. What an absurd thought. Why, they would even presume to suppose such a thing? I have no idea. It is sad, however, that the Alibacars have never had the evidence to prove our claim to them, though it galls me that we would need it. All that has recently changed... An old tome belonging to my family states, or all that has recently changed. An old tome belonging to my family states that there is proof. That proof can be found right here in trade meat. In the graveyard is a tomb that has been long abandoned, but which also houses the founder of the town, my ancestor, with him lies a large circlet called the Mantle of Joaquin. Possessing that circlet would be all the proof I need, so I wish to acquire it. I would do so myself, but there happens to be a good reason the tomb is abandoned. It is haunted, so they say. The exact nature of its danger I do not know, but you are a hero who surely could face its perils and return safely with the mantle, yes? In return, I shall pay you 1,000 gold. Very well, I will try my best. I think a larger reward is required here. I'm not sure about disturbing a tomb or the buried dead. I don't think so. I think a larger reward is required here. Hmm. I am sure there is treasure to be found in the tomb, if you look for it. And if you are thinking of going to the Laroxol Witch, I doubt she can pay more. No, 1,000 gold is all I offer. All right, then. I'll retrieve this mantle for you. Okay, yeah. Very good. I shall give you the key, then, which will allow you into the tomb. The key itself, having been in my family for some time as well. More proof, yes? Go, then, and return with the mantle. I have agreed to enter a tomb here in Trade Meat that apparently contains a gold circlet named the Mantle of Joaquin, which will prove Lord Scarmaine's claim of his family being the only true nobility in the town. He has given me a key to the tomb, and warns me that it is haunted. I am to return with the circlet once I get it. Okay. Anything else we can look at in here? Let's what see. Would you ask? This table got anything? A little bit of table money. A couple bullets. Why not? Let's get those ID'd if we can. Fantastic. Pop that up there. Good. Yes. And how about here? Oh, it's locked. Okay. Yes, yes. A standard tactic, that. 
Give it a pick. Is there a booby trap on it? Seems to not be the case. Got money and a pearl necklace. Now Very take well. that and add it to our bag. Great. Just as I would have. You know, I am shocked that we have gotten this deep into the game already, and I still have yet to find a bag of holding. No patience for right? Our like, stay had best be we sure course. we could look it up, or he, or I think someone a while this back wrote in a hint as to where to get it, but I kind of want to just find it naturally on my own accord, right? Because it's not like a big make or break situation whether or not I find it. It'll just really help out. Right, but I am surprised that I just haven't kind of found it already. <laughs> okay. Let's see if the Laroxols have anything to say now that we've had an audience here. Let's see. There we go. Good. No time at all. Okay. All Maybe I'll just right, run around myself here. Let's see, back this way. Nope. Ooh. The chimney is animating its smoke. Okay. Alright. Oh. Behind the door is a gloom-filled, musty closet with nothing of interest. What the fuck? Okay. Where is Lady... Yes. Laroxel. Missing? May the gods look upon you kindly. Be gone, dog. We know full well that you work for the Alibacar, so take your presence away from our lady's house. Oh, okay. Get on with it. So we can't. I was wondering if we could in some way play both Very sides well. to a better ending. But at least not yet. What would you hey. ask? Oh. Niebuhr. People say I ask too many questions. Do you think so too? Should I just finally exhaust all that this bastard has to say? I feel like maybe. Just as I you know what? The time thought. is now. Let's hear out Niebuhr entirely. What's well, a cleric? Hey, yeah. Do you have to study spells? Can I see one? We should go find Joaquin. That'd be a great adventure. Have you ever seen a dragon? Wow! I want to see Athkatla. I hear the streets are made of gold. Hey, yeah. I want to go to the Underdark. I've heard there's cool stuff there. Have you killed the genies? I can go tell them that you're gonna. You aren't gonna throw rocks at me now, are you? You've really been nice to me. I'll give you some rocks that other people throw at me. You just gotta promise not to throw them. Here. Holy shit. He actually gives you something this time. Wow, I got five rocks. Too bad I can't throw them at him. Okay. Well, here. Look at this, Jan. Maybe they smell like fucking turnips. You're gonna love that. No, they're just regular bullets. Okay. Sorry, Jan. <laughs> or, or Jan. This will be simple. Okay, over here. Fucking Jan Janssen. Oh, I fucking love turnips. Hmm. Well, you've really deceived me this time, Lila Schnapp. These, these bullets are, do not smell like turnips at all. There's nothing about them that reminds me of a turnip whatsoever. Maybe I'm gonna turn you into a fucking turnip, you fucking harlot. <laughs> oh! It's, it's High Merchant Logan Coprith. A moment of your time, Lila Schnub. I understand that you have taken a commission from a noble family to enter the tomb and retrieve something from it. I've no objection. The tomb has been a sore point for far too long. And if anyone can do something about that, I'm sure you are the one. But I am concerned about what you may retrieve. The mantle. It belongs to an ancestor of two families, although each is sure to claim it as theirs alone. This can only this can end only in bloodshed. I cannot offer the gold that the nobles have, but in the name of peace, I ask that you bring the mantle to me once it is found. Oh, okay. I will not force you to, however. Perhaps things are not as bad as I fear. But I shall leave your actions to your conscience. Okay, well, that's what we'll do then. Ideally, he gets rid of both of them. <laughs> Before I entered the tomb, Lord Logan approached me and asked me, and asked that I give the mantle of Joaquin to him, once I retrieve it, for the sake 
of peace, if nothing else. He is not going to force me, however. Okay. You know what? Actually, now that I think no better of it... No time at all. Let's go see the statue, huh? Is that me? Oh. Oh, here we are. <laughs> he looks like a werewolf! <laughs> Yo, he's fleshy and everything! Oh, look, Jahira is all stunk up. Look, stinky, stinky Jahira. There's flies gathering amidst her ass. Okay. All right, then. Follower of Lila Schnub. Follower of Lila... Lila Schnub, hero of trade meat. Follower. Follower. You want? Long time ago? Wow. Yeah, I was like a, a moon blade. <laughs> Yeah, they got uh, the stone form on everybody. I can't, like, cure petrification here, can I? <laughs> can I? <laughs> what if I do that? Well, will, will something happen? Are they actually people? Hang on. Let's see. Stone to flesh. Yeah, there we are. Let's see. Can I actually write this? Fuck. Okay. Let's let's do. You know, my last order load. always said I was sharp okay. and edgy. <laughs> he was such an ass. There we go. All right. Look, we're just going to see if Don't something you. happens. Yes, yes. A if something does that. happen, so be it. Uh, but we will reload until we can do it on a more permanent basis. Ah, yes. Oh, yeah, city. I can't even target With them. With all its people and their accumulated wealth, yes? Okay, fair enough. It was worth a shot. Huh? All right, then. Should we actually check out the market now? It'd be down here, right? Yeah, trade meat market. Yeah, let's actually check out the market real quick before we go in there. There may be something useful for fighting haunting ghosts. Right, things, the state of the world should have changed down here, huh? To some degree. Roddy? We're still doomed, I just knows it, I do! Boy? Who are you? My mom says we're gonna be overrun by ogres soon. There's an army of them coming. She says, what's an ogre? God, are we gonna have to deal with the ogre situation too? Okay. Man, ain't nobody out here selling. Here's a merchant. Oh fuck, everyone's over here in the corner. As merchant. Long as you're not the tax man. A greetings. A hero of our town in every in my very own shop. I'm pleased to see you and offer you my own personal thanks for what you've done for us. Could I see your services, please? You certainly may. Now that we've the caravans coming into town once again, Trade Meat is once again an appropriate name for our town. <laughs> what a fucker. Ooh, there is some cool shit. Black Blood. It's a club. This oak club is coated with darkened dried globs of a tar-like substance. During battle... This substance glows black with an inner light and becomes thick and fluid. When the club strikes an opponent, it delivers additional acid damage from the liquid splashing over the victim. Wow, okay. Huh. Jahira is our one club user. Dwarven Thrower. Okay. Is this one of the weapons that we needed? To craft uh, that other item. Do you remember what I'm talking about? We had, like, unlocked... Or not unlocked, but we had found a recipe. This hammer, not to be confused with the elven-made dwarf thrower, uh, is only usable by dwarves. In the capable hands of a dwarven warrior, the hammer may be thrown at an opponent. The magic in the hammer draws it back to the hand of its wielder. If it hits an opponent... It does double the normal damage that a hammer would normally do. Against giants and ogres, the hammer does an additional plus eight damage due to the special hatred that dwarves hold against these races. Okay. Yeah, returns back. 
Yeah, other than returning and the extra eight. That's about it. But hey, a Warhammer throne weapon. Right, so you have range now. Okay. Tan Sharon's bow. The thin frayed string of this bow appears unusable, but when it is drawn, a solid but invisible arrow becomes intangible. The lich Tan Sharon gave this bow to his watcher, the guardian of his keep, who stood atop the tower with neither entrance nor exit. When anyone approached, down would fall a never-ending rain of phantom arrows, until they were dead or fled. How this bow was wrested from the Watcher's hand is not known, but would probably make a great tavern story. Note: Avoid equipping normal arrows on your character, else the bow will fire these instead of the phantom arrows. Okay. Weird, it gives you a little usability tip. When no arrows are equipped, the bow fires missiles that are treated as plus three for the purposes of determining what enemies they can damage. The missiles receive plus three to hit, including the bonus listed below, and deal a total of 1d6 missile damage. Okay. Huh. Pretty good. All right. We don't have our shortbow user with us, however. Though someone amongst her in our midst does use short bows, isn't it CERNED? Or maybe I'm thinking of Jan. Or Yan. Yan. Marshall Staff. This humble staff radiates powerful magic and was likely the simple seeming weapon of a traveling mage or cleric. It would certainly prove more than ample for dealing with most threats encountered on the road. I think that's just generic text. Whoa. Raish? The Dancing Blade or Raz? Beroalf. Beroalf. Was a barbarian who traveled from the cold north in search of adventure. He saw treasures and glory, but soon all he wanted were companions to share in the excitement of battle, much like those he had left behind in his faraway village. Unfortunately, his coarse remarks and rudimentary hygiene repelled most travelers he met, until he expressed his thoughts to a sympathetic mage. The mage, for a price, constructed Raish, the Dancing Blade. Though not quite what Beroalf had in mind, he was thrilled nonetheless, and wielded the sword for many years. How they were ultimately separated is not known. Dancing Sword can attack on its own for four rounds. Wow. It is just a long sword. Huh. So how does that work? It becomes its own character? Or... Can you attack with it too? Does it... It's, it's like effectively doubling your... Attack count per... For four rounds, right? Hmm. Light crossbow, heavy crossbow... This is just a typical one, right? Wow, look at the stock on it. <laughs> it very much looks just like a gun. It looks like a regular gun, except, whoop, bear put some crossbow shit on there. <laughs> okay. Oh, I think it actually explains it. A crossbow is a bow mounted crosswise on a wooden or metal shaft, the latter called a tiller. The bow is usually made of ash or yew. The crossbow fires a quarrel also called a bolt. This magical crossbow is elegant and light in the hand, with little recoil. Okay. Bunch of ammunition. Any special... Ooh, look at this! Cloak of Displacement. Whoa, okay. The Cloak of Displacement is a magical item that causes subtle shifts in the image of its wearer. It has the power to actually shift an individual's image by as much as six inches in any direction from their actual location. Aside from being an effective defense in combat situations, it has also been the cause of serious eye strain amongst fellow party members. Why does that sound so familiar? Maybe that was in the first game? 
Belt of Inertial Barrier. Holy shit, it's really expensive. When worn, this belt creates a dense curtain of air around the wearer. This curtain, or barrier, provides superior protection against breath attacks as well as magic. By the scorch marks on the worn leather, it is obvious that this belt has been worn at least once against a dragon. Wow. Look at the stats on it. Save versus breath, plus five, that's pretty good. But man. Resistance to missile dam damage, plus 25%. Resistance to magic damage, plus 25. That's unreal, dude. Right? Am I, am I wrong about that? That's like ridiculously good. Yeah, I feel like I ought to buy that. Huh. What? All right. You know what? Are there other vendors here? Oh. The correct way to approach life is to accept its travails. One must bend as the willow and see the obstacles that the gods place in front of you as challenges to be overcome. Oh. Don't be moronic. You must struggle. Through struggle, we grow stronger. Only the strong survive. And I am not your brother. Strength comes through wisdom and pliance. One must be flexible to accept things that come. Struggle only brings futility, my son. Struggle and adversity bring strength, not futility. War and violence weed out the weak and unhealthy, strengthening all, and I'm not your son. What is this little bit they've got going on? Huh. Okay. War and violence are the recourse of the weak-minded, my friend. When they occur, it is as a result of the failure rather than success. Bah! Let me show you what comes out of that philosophy, friend. Huntley? Yeah, boss? Show him what becomes of his philosophy. Right, boss. I hope you know I'm only being proven correct here. Oh my god. Be gone, commoner. I have my own business to attend to. He fucking had him kill him! Well, now I su- or Well, now I suppose you were right after all. Dead right. Ha 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 ha! But I got the last word. Come, Huntley, let's go. What the fuck was that? Should I intervene there? Should I, no, no, it gave me a. I had a now. great opportunity yeah. to just intervene. All right, then. Maybe I will. Right? Let's let's approach him again and see what if I just fuck up Huntley. I am telling you, my brother. Don't okay, yada yada. Moronic. You must struggle. Through struggle, we grow stronger. Okay. Only the strong survive. Huntley, stop. And I am not your brother. Okay, Huntley, I'm gonna fucking kill you, dude. Be gone, Shit. commoner. I have my own business to attend to. Okay. Can we go Hang on a sec. Now? <gasps> Maybe we can do All this still. Right, Who knows hold person? Don't we have hold person available on someone? Hold monster, fuck. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's see, mage book. Do I have an ability that can just stop this dude in his fucking tracks? Shit, I don't, I don't know. Hold monster would would be good, but uh, hold animal, cloak of fear. I mean, I guess we could give him. Yeah, we could give him death ward, huh? Right? Yeah, we could do that. Or what's the one ability that removes a character from combat? Hmm. What's the cast time on Death Ward as well? 
casting time is nine. Okay. Hmm. Is there some way in which I can intercede here? Yeah, I'm not... I'm not sure. Okay. We'll try it. <gasps> Fuck it. There we are. Over here. Okay. I am telling you, my Don't be moronic. You must struggle. Okay. Through and then, struggle, we grow stronger. Jahira. Only the strong survive. And I am not your brother. Can we put a death ward on this philosopher? And then maybe you, we can... Shit, I don't know. What could we do to this guy? Huh. I mean, he ain't a monster. Right? I guess we'll just shoot him. Right? Do we have a hold or petrify here? I'm not sure that we do. Oh yeah, we have hold person. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Great. It's a priestly spell. Be gone. Well, Tom. that didn't work out. I my own business to attend to. I think dude like resisted it as well. <laughs> All right. Let's you know, see. Let's try this. Said I was sharp and edgy. Let's right. try and have and everyone just attack this guy. I am telling you, mother. Don't be moronic. You must struggle. Through struggle, we grow stronger. Only okay. the strong survive. And, and everyone attack Hunter. Righteousness shall prevail! Your doom! There we go. Okay. Okay. We also accidentally killed the other guy. <laughs> Nobody seems to give a shit. Right? Nobody seems to really care too much what just happened. You miserable ragamuffins. Now I... I hope you know all that violence was completely unnecessary. You've rather invalidated my entire argument. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, what if... What if we have the other guy live? I can't believe there's actually fucking reactivity to that. Don't be moronic. You must struggle. Through struggle, we grow stronger. Okay. Only the strong survive. And I am not your brother. Be gone, Fuck. commoner. I have my own business to pay. Okay. Wouldn't All right. it be cool if you could this time right. for sure. I am telling you, my Don't be moronic. Good. You must struggle. Through struggle, we grow stronger. For the greater balance. Only the strong survive. Be gone, Shit. commoner. I have my own business to attend to. Okay. Come on, let's kill something now. <laughs> it's time for sure. All right then. Good, and huh? I will go right here. I am telling you, my brother. Don't be moronic. You must struggle. Through struggle, we grow stronger. Okay. Only Kill the Huntley yeah! for the greater balance. And I am not your brother. Be no! Gone, Governor, I have my own business to it. Fuck! I am All right. Invincible. Huh? Invincible, All right. I say. Hang on, hang on. Okay. I am telling you, my don't be moronic. You must struggle through struggle. We can we fucking do this. Only the strong. <laughs> and I am not your brother. <laughs> yes. All right, now stop, everyone. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck! Jeez! Okay. All right. Hang on. You know what? I know how we fix this. We have broke? AI on. Yeah. We turn I it off. Like a, a moon blade. <laughs> All right. Okay. I am telling you, my... Don't be moronic. Good. You must struggle. Through struggle, okay. we grow stronger. 
Kill him, kill him, kill him! Kill his ass! I am not your brother. Everyone stop. Did I do it? Oh my god, I've done it. Okay, now what do you say? Be gone, commoner. I have my own business to attend to. Oh, fooey. Spoil my fun, will you? And I was winning that argument, too. Now I hope you know all that violence was completely unnecessary. You've rather invalidated my entire argument. Hang on, that guy is naked. Wait, why was one of them naked the whole time? He was, his character model was old naked man. <laughs> All right, well, you know what? It was one extra line of dialogue, but I feel like it was worth it. <laughs> All right. I feel like we saw something special here, you know? Okay. Is this a flasher? What is this hovering around here? God, it might be. Let's create some, some bruiser mates. There we go. Man, maybe that is one. Yeah. Wallace? Hello, friend. Would you care to see my wares? Yeah, let's take a look. Do you have anything different? You have a scroll case and wooden stakes. I mean, I guess I'll buy them. Right, we always buy the wooden stakes. I don't think we need any of that other stuff, though. Right, like an extra scroll case, potions. Well, maybe we'll get potions of healing. There we are. Okay, who can hold potions? CERN. Good. Okay. Very well. Let's see. Is there anyone else here who sells stuff that we may be having an interest in trading with? Peddler? Hi, friend. Ah. If it aren't the heroes of the town, come to take advantage of me peddling, no doubt. I'd be more than pleased to sell you what I can, now that me cart be full once again. A tip of me hat to ye, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, seems like a bunch of trash. Okay, I'll, I'll buy the potions of healing, I guess. As was before. Sure. Are there vendor lords Just out here? In these tents now? Let's have a quick look. Oh, this is a merchant? Or is this the merchant we'd already traded with? As long as you're not the tax man. Yeah, this is the merchant we had traded with earlier. Oh, is that another rare item? Hold as up. As long as you're not the tax man. No, I think I'm... Yeah, I'm tripping major balls. Okay. Fair enough. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Do these folks trade now? Hello to you, dear woman. Kavero Slava bids you... Bids that you are welcome in our camp, as all are. I I cannot reveal your future. You all have a powerful destiny, one which clouds my visions and frightens me. I wish you good fortune, dear woman. Oh, right, yeah, you're the fortune teller, folks. Fair enough. How about over here? Mr. Jean, anything different? Simple. I understand that I have you to thank for the lack of the genie yoke upon this town. That is good. Already I have had inquiries from customers who wish to return. I shall have to contact my former girls and see if any will return. In trade meet, you have to be fair. You know, poor Anna Lynn asked for time off after that Wilfred fellow finally left, and I granted it to her. But at least... There is a chance now for my tent to return to its proper state of business. Thank you, my lady. Oh. Annalyn, do you have anything different to say? Holy shit, there's so much reactivity. Don't look at me like that. I want to work here. In trade meet, all employees are treated fairly. That's Joaquin's rule. Fair trade. It's good coin for an independent woman, you know. Oh, really? 
I did not know about that stipulation. I trust all is well. Now that those genies are gone, I hear Mistress Jean is going to reopen the tent. Woohoo, I'm first in line. Oh my gosh, okay. No time at all. So, almost a take ahead of its time. Right, with regards to Anna Lynn. Okay. Well, we didn't actually talk to any of these other folks here. Do they have anything new? Let's see. Now we've seen that. Right. I think we'd seen that before. All right. Let's see over here. Hmm. It's is this meant to be like a play on like Romani people? Right? Because conversely to what we had just seen and said that that felt very ahead of its time in there with Anna Lynn, this feels very much of its time. <laughs> you know? Okay. Let's head on over this way. Good. Check inside of here. All right, then. All right, yeah, what's up with you all, Rafi? I be sorry, but I can't talk now. I must ready the drivers to head back to Muran. Now that the troubles are over, we've been commissioned to restock the town. Greetings, good customer. A pearl to you. On behalf of my husband and I, I thank you for everything you have done. Our caravans have been restored to prosperity. Wherever we go, we shall tell of your good deed, dear woman. Man, I can't believe how much people have to say about all this. I'm kind of loving it. How about in here? Is there anyone now living in here? Because this is where the gin were hanging. Oh, shit. No. What all right, did you let's ask? head on back out. Yes. And what about this tent? Oh, shit. If we can even get around here. Oh, Very well. right. Yeah, caravan merchant. Good news, my friend. The genies have been dealt with, I hear, and we've been able to reload on, on our supplies. If you wish to look at my goods, now would be the time. Before I go to town, that is. All right, let's see what you have. Yes, yes, it is wonderful to have the caravan restored. Come, buy whatever you wish, and sell by walking. Yes, sell. We'll take anything you have. Okay, do you actually have new stock? It feels like it, right? Scimitar plus one, that feels new. I don't know. Oh, the one gift lost. What the fuck? Necklace of missiles. The one gift lost. The naming of this necklace originates from its only owner, Ikaida Morniv, who quested to regain his kidnapped daughter. Not many would help the determined father, but a kind and generous mage bestowed this item on him to aid his cause. Alas, the necklace was lost when Ikaida dropped it into the Immerflow River while fending off bandits upon a suspension bridge. Fortunately, it is rumored that the item was not needed to reunite the family once again. But all it is is a charge of missile blast. Does it recharge? It doesn't say as much. It may be limited use. Okay. Oh, fuck. Improved haste. What the hell? The affected creature functions at double its normal movement and attack rates and receives a plus two bonus in its initiative. Thus, a creature moving at six and attacking once per round would move at 12 and attack twice per round. Spellcasting and spell effects are not sped up. There are three major differences between the third level wizard spell haste and this spell. First, there is no period of fatigue following the expiration of this spell. Second, this spell will only affect one creature. Third, this spell actually doubles the number of attacks per round of the hasted creature. This spell also negates the effects of a slow spell, but it is not cumulative with itself 
or with other similar magic. Its effects will last for the duration or until dispelled. Wait, so how much extra attacks per round does regular haste afford? Is it like a 1.5 multiplier and this is a 2 times multiplier? Huh. Okay. Whoa, protection from magical weapons as well. What the fuck? When this spell is cast, it confers complete invulnerability to all magical weapons. This includes weapons that are blessed or enchanted. The attacks of powerful monsters are also considered magical weapons. This spell cannot be cast on anyone who is protected from normal weapons as well as anyone protected by mantle, improved mantle, or absolute immunity. Due to the nature of this spell, with the short casting time and duration, it is mainly used to buy the wizard a few rounds in the thick of combat. This effect lasts for the duration of the spell or until dispelled. Huh. Okay. Wow. Yeah, there's some wild shit here. Okay. Should we try and buy one? Or should we save up our money for actual items? Does the car caravan driver have anything? Water Davians, they all make their way here eventually to arm, they do. Business should return to normal very soon now. We caravan drivers have our livelihood back now that those genies are gone. Thanks to you, I hear. Okay, yeah, let's save our money for the this items. I want that belt and potentially that cloak. I may not use the cloak on, on my character, though. The, the cloak was incredibly low-priced relative to the belt, though, right? Okay. There we are. I mean, what? can I just sell off some of this shit, too? No time at all. Get, like, a small discount, perhaps. Yeah, there we go. It ain't much, but it's something. Get rid of these as well. Great. Oh, whoops. Okay. Yeah, Cloak of Displacement and Belt of Inertial Barrier. Both seem fucking amazing. I'm buying them both. I'm very tempted as well by... by the Dwarven Thrower, because I think we need it for crafting or whatever. But those, for the time being, will be clear upgrades for us. Okay. Let's see, who should we give this to? We could give it to Jahira. All right. Huh. And this item we could give to... Well, let's give it to Jan. There we go. Great. Yeah, that belt is ridiculous. Okay, what was our, like, little recipe guide here? Hmm. Let's see. Any of these here jumping out? Shit, I don't know. Okay. Crom Fair? Okay, yeah. This is it, but that also means that the hammer is not what we want. Okay, so we're fine. Though it's something to All keep in right mind then. if we decide to use Corgan, which I'm quite tempted to make use of Corgan because I did quite like him as a foil to the party, like I mentioned before. 
using that Warhammer there. Okay. That said, if we end up finding that other Warhammer, it's, it sounds like that's a Warhammer, right? What we just read about. Maybe we should just save up, or save the cash and get this. Yeah, Hammer of Thunderbolts. I'm assuming it's a Warhammer. Right? Like, I don't, we don't know for certain, but it really sounds like it is. And we'll probably find it at some point, I presume. Get on with Okay, me. well, let's head on over here. I think that was a, a good idea to sort of make that detour. Right? Okay. Who is this person? All right, you know what? When next we come back, we will speak with this Lice, Lise, child, I think? Or maybe you're a halfling? I don't know. Either way, we'll speak to them, and then we'll head into the spooky crypt. Right? Wanna go kill that over there? Come on, let's kill something! Until next time, please. Also, oh my god, look at... <laughs> oh my god, look at Jan! <laughs> okay. Until next time, please, take care of each other.